Hey guys, it's Doug here with another edition of Trigger King Tech. And today we're gonna to talk about on-track rules for our monster truck racing. You know, uh, a lot of clubs use similar ones to this. Of course, I'm only speaking out of Trigger King, uh, you know, what we do. But the RC monster truck racing community in general uses similar uh, conventions wherever you're going to be racing at, as far as the penalties, how they're assessed on track. Whenever you see our racing videos, sometimes you inevitably see somebody won by penalty. And we don't really define that in a video. It would be too complicated and take too much time. And I don't think we've ever really done it on camera here. So I wanted to just talk about it a little bit. So one of the most important rules in RC monster truck racing is that you must have your front tires be on the face of a ramp when you're hitting a ramp. What I mean by that is these front two tires, if this is the ramp face right here, must be on the ramp. Uh, they must hit that. Otherwise, you're going to be assessed a penalty. That means if only one tire goes up the face of a ramp, you go off cockeyed or whatever, that means you have technically missed the ramp. So what we do is we assess a two second penalty to a run if you got one tire off the ramp. If you miss the ramp entirely, you are assessed a four second penalty. And those are assessed after the race is over. So that's why when you see a close race and somebody gets awarded to it by penalty, it's because they missed part of a ramp or the judges deem they missed part of a ramp or a whole ramp. One of the other big rules we use is driver impeding. And what that is is if you are in your lane and leave your lane and cross into the other driver's lane, that by itself usually isn't a penalty because it's tough to regulate that, especially when trucks are in the air. It becomes a penalty when you impede the other driver. And what I mean by that is they have to actually get off the throttle or if you hit them, uh, that's an instant DQ for the truck the, uh, that has offended. Another thing we do that's a death penalty is red lighting. We've gone back and forth on this. If you red light, it's just an instant DQ. That's how we've done it uh, you know, for the past couple of years and how we're going to keep doing it. And on that note of DQs, one of the last things we need to talk about here is, is how we do rollovers in racing because I'm sure as many of you have seen if you watched our videos, whenever somebody rolls over, there is no corner marshalling in RC monster truck racing. The reason for that is, listen, these races are normally around 30 seconds and corner marshalling that's just not really uh, applicable to this because someone should be able to be in control of their vehicle for the 30 seconds or whatever it is for the racing and you put corner marshals into it it also adds another variable another human element so what we do is if you roll you're done however if both trucks roll over and both do not finish the course which this happens quite a bit actually is uh somebody will roll over and the other person for whatever reason, they slow down, they do whatever, because they know that um, they've already, they've sort of won the race, right? Well, they will roll over accidentally because normally going over a jump too slow or something. And we make them rerun the race. Now, the reason we do that versus first rollover is done is just for that reason I stated, is because it is, uh, it's interesting to watch people when somebody rolls over to still have to finish the course because sometimes they get nervous, sometimes they get overzealous for whatever reason, I don't know, but a lot of times people will roll after the other guy rolls. So it keeps it interesting to the end of it to where both trucks must finish for the race to be legal and completed. That's really it, guys. I mean, uh, there's, there's only a few things we really run by and you have the specialty rules, you know, like talking about the instant DQ for bigger events, but for the most part, that's what we roll with. And a lot of the clubs out there roll with something similar. I mean, the bottom line is this, don't roll over, stay in your lane and hit all the jumps on the course and you'll be fine. That's pretty much how it is. Uh, if you do that, if you're going to race with somebody, you'll be fine. And uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. So uh, as always in these videos, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to really specify in regards to our on-track rules. And I will do my best. So thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you next time.